Hi, and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to download and set up your Passion Planner Digital Student Planner into the app GoodNotes on your iPad. If you're using a different device or app, some of these steps may differ slightly. To prepare, make sure you have your Files app and GoodNotes already installed onto your iPad. Whatever device you choose to use or planners with, you just need to make sure you have some sort of note-taking app that allows you to edit PDF files and activate the hyperlinks throughout the planner. First, you'll click the download link in your email, which will lead you to this page here. Now, this is important, so pay attention. You have five downloads available. Click download once and your file will automatically download into your downloads folder in your files app. I say this because a lot of the times people don't see anything pop up to tell them that their file is downloading. And so they end up clicking through all of their five downloads. Once that's done, go into your files app and into your downloads folder. This is a really important step. No matter what app or device you're using, you need to unzip your downloaded file in order to access its contents. You can tap on the file to unzip it or long press on it and click uncompress. There's a very helpful readme file with directions on how to set up all the files that come with your download if you wanna check it out here. So let's start off with setting up your planner. There's both a Monday and a Sunday start for you to choose from. Tap on the one that you wanna use, tap on the share icon, then scroll to open in GoodNotes. Alternatively, you can always just use the import button in GoodNotes as well. To click on the hyperlinks throughout your planner, you need to turn on read only mode. For GoodNotes 6, that's this button right here. If you have GoodNotes 5, it'll be in the top right corner of your toolbar. If you're using a different app, you're going to need to find out how to activate the hyperlinks in that app. It might be um, some sort of hand icon, or sometimes you just use your finger to tap on the hyperlink. Every section and page of the planner is hyperlinked in our new index page. All of the tabs are hyperlinked to specific sections of your planner as well. The rest of the hyperlinks throughout the planner are going to either have an arrow next to them or have a gray background. You can click on the tabs on the right side of your planner to get to the monthly layouts, click to the left of each week to get to that weekly layout, or click on the days to get to their daily layout. If you want a more in-depth look at the contents of your planner and how it's set up, Make sure to check out this video, we'll link above and in the description. If you ever need more information about how this planner is set up though, you can also check out our new digital guide at the beginning of your planner as well. Another really cool feature, we have these new shortcuts on the bottom tabs of your planner to help you add events or reminders to your iCal app, Reminders app, and Google Calendar. Just an important note here though, you cannot sync what you write in your planner to these apps using these shortcuts. So to set this up, first go into your settings app, then go to shortcuts and toggle on enable private sharing. You can disable this after installation. Then download this Apple shortcut by clicking this button on your guide page. It'll ask you which app you'd like to use, so make sure to select GoodNotes or whichever app you're using your planner in. Okay, so let's say I'm planning out my week and don't want to forget a task or event. I can click on this tab in read-only mode, click yes, and then click add reminder or add event. If I want it to be in my Google Calendar instead, I will just click on this tab here. This tab will take you to your term and class overview. You can fill in your information for each term, whether you're using a semester or a quarter system here. This arrow will take you to that term's overview. If you look down here, these arrows along with the arrows on the previous page will take you to that specific class's overview. Here you can fill in all the information from your class syllabus. Whenever you want to go back to that specific term's overview, you can click this arrow here. To add pages to your planner, you're basically going to duplicate any page of your planner as many times as you'd like. We have brand new template pages specifically made for that purpose. So. To add planner pages or basically duplicate these pages in GoodNotes, you're going to click on this plus icon and select current template. You could also open thumbnail view, click on the down arrow and click duplicate. I prefer to click on the three dots in the right hand corner, click copy page and then navigate to wherever I want that page to go. So I would then click the plus symbol and paste page. So it'll go directly after this one. This is a really important step to use for our sections pages. So imagine these sections as dividers in a binder. Whenever you want to have a section for, let's say, a different class or maybe for work or your personal projects, just duplicate a template and then paste it to go after that section page. 
For example, for a class, you might want to copy the assignment tracker here and then paste it into that section. This way you can easily organize and navigate to these pages instead of duplicating them and not being able to find them later in your planner. I can always just go to my index page and then navigate to that section. Okay, next you can now change your planner covers. So in your download, you have 29 different planner covers to choose from, including some of our past paper planner covers and brand new academic digital exclusive ones. When you see a cover you'd like to use, you can tap on the share icon Click copy and then use your lasso or photo tool to paste and resize it over the existing cover. You can do the same for the back cover as well. Alternatively, you can select all of the covers and save them as images for you to add as photos into your planner as well. Your planner comes with a ton of stickers. So first, let's import the Tools for School sticker book. This contains more than 1,000 stickers in it. You need to tap it to unzip it. Then see this .goodnotes file? You need to tap to unzip that. Click the share icon and open in GoodNotes. You can then just use your lasso or photo tool to select these stickers and copy and paste them into your planner. If you're using an app other than GoodNotes, you can use the PNG versions of these stickers. Just know that there is a preview here to see all of our stickers, and you can look at which sticker sheet the sticker you want to use is in, then navigate to find that folder. You could copy and paste it into your planner, but I prefer to use split view mode to drag and drop them into my planner. We have even more stickers you can use here. So for GoodNotes, you need to import these dot collection files directly into the elements tool of GoodNotes. To do that, just click on the share icon and then open in GoodNotes. Repeat this process for the rest of the folders here. Now, whenever you want to use these stickers, you can find them in your elements tool. Again, if you're using a non-GoodNotes app, you can just use the PNG versions of these stickers. And now you're ready to start planning. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials and inspo on how to make the most out of your digital planner.